my hand, but it's like a little smudge in the sun. So on on what? Uh, okay. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. A brand new one. Woo-hoo! Boom! With, with three eyes. Uh-huh. You, you, you. Ah, okay. You know what I'm Spiritual Alliance. Alright. Spiritual Alliance represents unity, togetherness, sisterhood, brotherhood, learning who you are within yourself so you can be the strongest person within you and learning how strong you are with your thoughts and your actions so you can manifest and create a uh, stronger journey for yourself also. Man, I love that. Hey, Stacey A. Cross here, no E in my name, the Comfort Killer. has got a Comfort Killer with me right here. His name is Shy Bree. Man, this guy, we, we've known each other, let's say now, uh, maybe about four months. Yeah. Uh, well, no, we went four, back five. to five. Yeah, five, five months. Five months. What was it? What was it? Was that it a spring? What was that Uber ride? I can't remember. Was it a spring or something? It was an Uber ride. Yeah, it was, it was an Uber, Uber ride, ride but it was definitely magical uh, because you know how the universe works, okay? We don't have to go into that, but I want to go into a little bit about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Um, I know you're living right here in Philadelphia. Tell mm-hmm. us more about yourself, and then we'll get into spiritual alliance, baby. All right. Uh, my name is Shabri Walker, and I grew up in Roxborough, Philadelphia. Oh. There's... um. The uh, area has changed a little bit now, but um, we still have a lot of a little bit of culture there and a lot of um, friends and uh, family there. But other than that, um, I grew into who I am now about three or four years ago, and I am um, I'm extremely spiritual now. Mm-hmm. I can't go a day without meditating three or four times. I can't go a day without at least going into nature or uh, or going towards in, near a creek or a river, uh, something that is nature oriented. And before it didn't really matter to me. I I ate whatever, I did whatever, I thought however, I said whoever to whoever. But now I'm more conscious of everything around me Mm. and who I am more, more so who I am within myself. And I feel like if you don't have connection within yourself and if you don't have um, real knowledge and real determination of who you are within within yourself, then you are Living in the fog, as, as right, what we yeah, just yeah, said yeah, we earlier. Were just saying. And there's a lot, you know, honestly, I, I was living in the fog at one time, so I know how that felt, where it's like, you're always questioning things, though. You still knew. That's why I like that mm-hmm. whole innate, because some people that, that get woke, right? They say, now nah, you, you know, you're woke. Um, we were always questioning things, seeing things. Ask, look, you know, I would look up in the stars. For a long period of time, and and I had my spiritual awakening, and I don't really like to just say awakening because it, it was really travel with me from a kid mm-hmm. on, and where I would question, I would be like, you know, who am I? Like as a nine year old, like who's saying that? You're gonna go play in the dirt, go play in the dirt, but you're who am I? You know, mm-hmm. and and researching and wanting some more solid foundations on the eye, the connecting with the self. Mm-hmm. So why? I mean. Why, why are you spiritual? Like, what happened? Was there, what was the shift? What was the big turning point for you? Uh, let's just start. I'm going to start exactly when I start feeling something. Mm. I always felt something. Mm-hmm. But I was a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, not, I'm not as much as religious now. But right. I was a Christian. And um, I was so much into Christianity that I was there almost, I was at church almost every Sunday. Uh-huh. That they nominated me to be a junior deacon. Wow. So I was on my on my way to be an ordained you were deacon definitely about two involved. or three, yes, yeah. two or three years. Yep. I really knew what was going on. Yep. So with that being said, mm-hmm. um, with that being said, I every every Sunday morning you went up to your deacon chair and you said a, a private prayer to you and yourself. And the deacon told me, he said, "This does this is this prayer is for who you are within yourself." This is what he said verbatim. You say a prayer for what you want, and your physical and in the spiritual. And I'll never forget what he, when he said that to me. Mm-hmm. So every single time I went up to that deacon chair, I asked for truth. Mm. I wanted to know the truth. Right. Because I felt like there was something missing. No right. matter how many times I was there or did, mm-hmm. this, did this Bible study, I felt like there was still something hmm. missing. Yeah. So I always took that asking for truth to the next level. And that same deacon got me the job where I actually awakened. I physically said, oh, okay, this is it. This is the feeling. This mm. is what I've been the looking for. The whole thing. The same deacon got me this overnight security job. Right. So I go into the security job. It's overnight. It's in the woods. It's dark. Yeah. So I'm looking at the stars almost every night. Right. About three or four weeks in, I'm starting to, okay, I'm starting to really feel something now. Like, okay, these aren't just stars. Maybe there's something more than just the stars right. here. So right, right, right. 
About a year later after feeling that, I started asking for truth mm. to the stars. Mm. I started looking up into the stars, even though I knew there were only stars, maybe a little bit more, but mm. I just said, I need to know truth aloud. I said it aloud. I want to know truth. I want to know what's really going on out here. One of my favorite rappers is Ab Soul. Oh, we like Ab around here. Ab Soul. Okay. He has a song called Pineal Gland. Yes. I never knew what that song, what that word meant, what, what, them word, what that meant, but I knew I loved the song. Yeah. So one night, one of these nights I'm working overnight, I decided to look up the, the word. That was it. Yeah. I learned what pineal gland it was. The pineal gland, you have a gland in your brain that is shaped like a, a like an eye. They mm -hmm. call that mm -hmm. the third eye because of the shape of yeah. it. And it gives you your intuition. And we learned that there's a lot of fluoride in the water because mm -hmm. they want that to be blocked up yeah. so you don't know who you really are. Mm -hmm. But my whole life, that spark was coming out. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, you're going to learn who you are. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. And that absolute song changed me forever. Wow. Meditating. Yeah sitting down reflecting on my wrongs mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't reflect on their wrongs they, they want to they always reflect or want to gain want to put more gain onto what they have already they want to gain more right they don't want to sit they don't sit down and say hey what have what i have what have i been doing wrong right and i feel like that's where that's where i became myself more i said okay i'm going to gain spirit i'm going to know where i did wrong and i'm also going to be thankful wow you know what i'm saying thankful for everything even the bad. Everything. Everything. Because it teaches you. you. You might say it's bad now, but once you go through it, that's you, what puts you, you, you at your highest oh, stage. Man, the, the word has been spoken here. I, I was a gambler. I went back into my gambling life addicted, right? And I said, man, look how much good came out of... Like, I looked at it in a whole different perspective. In fact, I have a video... I think it's on YouTube where we said change your perspective even of what's happening in your life. These situations that you think are bad then because they're teaching you some things. You plant seeds in the dirt. Dirt is dark. You need to, to flourish from that dirt, right? So don't think that you could just toss some seed out in the air, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to grow. You need to put it in some that soil, that nutritious soil, and it's dark down there. It may be the rough times that you're in right now. So here comes... That's a perfect analogy. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so... You're you're awake. You're you're waking. It's feeling good, right? You you feel like you're on this high. It's yeah. like this natural high, and it high, it never shuts off. It's just like this abundant high that you're on. When it first hit me, when yeah. it first hit me, and I'm not a, I'm not a, I, I keep telling people I'm extremely sensitive to things, but I'm not emotional. Right. Like if something hits me, I won't. I just won't do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm extremely sensitive. If something is happening, I'm not gonna act like it's not happening. I'm right. gonna act on that. Right. But I'm not emotional. Right. You know what I'm saying? When that happened, I broke down in tears. Me too. Me too. I broke. I didn't know what. It just hit me. I it just, just hit you. Like, right? I, like, that's exactly what is going on. Yep. Hey, guys, if you, I mean, this is on YouTube, comment below if you was hit with, with a spiritual awakening, mm -hmm. if you felt something. Maybe you, you didn't even know what it is. Maybe you didn't even um, say it was that you're awakened, right? But something was different, and it was pure what? What was it that, that came upon you? Pure, for me, it was love. Like, there was this sense of love that I, I just had to cry. I was crying for hours, and then I just realized, oh, my God. I can feel love. I can feel <laughs> compassion. I can the ch I feel I, I love the cheer. I love it just did it happen to you like that? Like cause I just felt it, man. It was really a pure connection. Pure. A pure connection. I felt I felt connected to like all the things I just felt were not me. Yeah. I thought that it went from before I walked in that night to, to, to clock in. Yeah. That was a tree. Before, when I left that morning, yeah. that was my brother. Woo. That tree was not a tree. That tree was my brother. <laughs> I was looking at them leaves on that tree like, what? Yes. What? Yes. Like, yes. Right? Like, Here, here's the thing with the grass blades. Like, I was, I was with, you know, my partner at the time, and I said, I could hear the, I could, I could sense what the grass is saying. I feel the grass move. And you know, outside of looking in, they're like, man, this nutty buddy, <laughs> this nutty buddy. But here's the thing, it's not for them. Okay, we all have the alignment, but I knew what it was. Like mm -hmm. I knew the eye that it was me mm -hmm. that I sh shape shifted. It's a beautiful feeling. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful it, it feeling. It really is. It really is. Um, I definitely want to speak on you saying it's not for them. That's that's exactly where I'm. That's exactly where, I, um, where I am right now. Uh -huh. Understanding things, it takes art. 
You have to be an artist to understand. Mm. And everyone is an artist. You have to really know or, or like feel to understand. A lot of people, like you ever notice like a baby or not only a baby, but someone that is mentally ill, they don't have what it takes to understand. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. They just don't have that talent. Yeah, right, that, right. That, 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 right. yeah, that's true. And when you're artistic and when you're extremely artistic and you try to help people who are not artistic as you mm-hmm. or maybe even not artistic at all, to understand where you're coming from, mm-hmm. you'll be beating on that door all day. All day. You will always, so when you have to stop and you have to reconnect with the people that are artistic like you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it might it might be a complete stranger. It might be your brother. It might be someone that you don't even like right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, when you reconnect with artists, you, you can just paint. I'm telling you. You're painting, <laughs> you're drawing, you're doing whatever you want to do. It's, you can't, an uh, artist, you can't have, a block in front of who you are and mm-hmm. your artistic, right? Because you, you gotta let it out. You I gotta like let that. it out. I like I like exactly what you're you. saying. And when you said the the painting, um, shout out to Debbie, a friend of mine. You know, we would look up at the sky, and she's like, "Man, God drew like this painting for us. Like, you know, the clouds are so perfect, and this and that." So shout out to Debbie. When you said that, I just thought I of you. Debbie. So I had to mm-hmm. I had to say it. But you know, so. And you know, you, you naturally attract people that are in the same frame, the same wavelength. It, mm-hmm. You know, it just happens like that. You mm-hmm. know, we put that we put that natural attraction factor out, and you literally could walk about knowing that it's it's not hard anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, the struggle is gone, and you could attract the people that you want in your life. That's why it says when you change, you don't have to worry about changing the outside of you because once you change inside who you are. The outside naturally evolves and takes shape of the mirror that you reflect. It's just, it just is. Yep. So now you, I mean, what spiritual lines? It took you to this whole level here. You know, yeah. you got, you got the T-shirts. I met you and you talk, you talked about the the, the brand. It's called mm-hmm. Spiritual Alliance. Yeah, it's Spiritual Alliance. Yep. I have um, it's a, a lion. We'll go up here and show it to him. Yeah. Yep, that's. It's a lion, a crescent moon. Oh, oh, we'll, oh. we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it right back. There we go. There's <laughs> a lion, a crescent moon, and the pyramids of Giza. Uh, right here. The pyramids of Giza also. Yep. It represents uh, unity, togetherness, sisterhood, brotherhood, and learning who you are within yourself, like I was saying earlier. Yep. And um, learn how strong you are with your thoughts and your actions so you can manifest your strongest journey. Like, right. This image here, it doesn't have anything to do with the meaning, but I wanted to create a strong, a strong, strong image for you guys to... Um, for someone to see and be like, hey man, what, what's that? What's going on? Because you see, there's no words here. I, I didn't plan mm. on putting any words. I just wanted to create yeah, a symbol. That's true. And it took it took a little bit long time, but yeah. I, I made sure it was right. Yeah. No, this is this is and plus, you know, the lion alone, and you got the period, like the whole thing is strength in here. Mm-hmm. Like all I see is just just strength and, and mm-hmm. knowledge of self and really knowing who you are. So this, I think, this logo for a logo to not have any words, mm-hmm. you have to have some powerful images with yeah. it, and you 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 accomplish that. I appreciate. So the it. unity here, the three eyes, and then mm-hmm. it, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it has the the third eye, the, well the eye mm-hmm. um, above it, just dotting the eye with the eye, mm-hmm. you know, um, on that. So where can we where can we find you? I know you're on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram spiritual underscore alliance a l l i a n c e another underscore, and you can just hit me in the DMs or hit me um, a comment on one of the pictures, whatever. The website is almost finished. The website it will yeah. be up no later. I'll say a month. Spiritualalliance.com. Yeah. Within a month, I'm I'm not playing. Let's we're, we're and there's all sorts of so, it's like I'm not playing. I'm, I'm not done. Playing. <laughs> I'm done. I, I, he I, needed I, to just take pictures. It would have been done. But he just had to take some pictures, but he keeps selling out so fast that he can't take the pictures of the, of the, of the, of the, the shirt. But you got a lot of colorways. You got yeah. I mean this is orange, but you got a lot of different colorways. I'm telling you, you can you can get you can have a white shirt with a red logo. You can yeah. have a black shirt with a blue logo. Bam. You can have your uni on the back of different colors. Uni! It it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, we're really diverse. We will work with you and um it's it's really about connectivity yeah. and connection because uh when you connect, just like me and Stacy was just saying, when you connect with someone that's real, you, the, the energy, the universe is going to really rise you guys. It's going to rise together, you yeah. guys together. And you know what's so funny, too, is that I always find it amazing how when two people, because I'm not big on, you know, this whole, oh, you got to go to this networking events, network your ass off. And then, mm-hmm. to me, it's like fake. You know what I mean? I love organic um, connections and organic 
uh, relationships. That's true. You see what I'm saying? That's true. The fake thing is like, oh man, I gotta get my business going, and maybe that person could do it. It's we're both all everyone's in. all there just for a game. For the game, you see what I'm saying? So I think there's just always a time where the universe, or you know, uh, or God, uh, puts it where we both need to connect mm -hmm. uh, and work on a project or connect and move forward. You don't have to force these things, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I think once they're forced, you you come to realize that you didn't want to work with the person anyway. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, I ain't like I ain't like them anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you see some of the true self that you would have seen if you had an organic relationship yes. very mm -hmm. early. And what were you saying earlier about the the whole concept where if people don't get it, it's not for them. You don't like to you don't like to throw spiritual. I think that's important. Yeah, the, uh, I was I was saying to her earlier. Um, spiritual alliance. There was is a lot of different. Just like you're saying, networking events. A lot of different marketing schemes. A lot of different things that I could be doing with, with spiritual alliance. And I get I get questions a lot. Like, hey man, why are you not out here? Why are you not pushing that out a lot more? And with spiritual alliance, I like to explain to people like. Um, I'm pushing something really organic, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. I, I want I want it to be because you wanted to wear the shirt, or mm. you seen you seen that logo, and you said, "What is that?" And you asked me, "What is mm -hmm. that?" I don't want to be pushing it in your face, especially like I was saying, spirituality. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be pushing that. It's very a touchy touchy uh, subject and a touchy topic that I don't want to be pushing spirituality on the people because the basis of spiritual alliance is spiritual spirituality. Mm -hmm. So I want people to be like, man. I like that. I could connect with that. Yes, mm -hmm. I like that. That's mm -hmm. why I wanted it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it because you. I liked it a little bit, mm -hmm. and then you pushed it on me right. and made me like it more. Right. I don't want that. Right. I want it to be pure, a hundred percent pure, because I'm about a hundred percent pure mm. when I created this. You know what I'm mm. saying? There is no malice. There is no. Hey, I'm trying to make some money. Right. It was never that. Right. It was never yo. I'm broke right now. I need to find a scheme. It was never. Right. That. It was hey. There's something on me to, that I need to bring out into this physical. Yeah. And th this is just the beginning. I love it. I love it. Hey, that's why I rock with people like this. The Comfort Killers. Check out our, our, our website, thecomfortkillers.com. We got to get you on a podcast, too. Ooh, and, on. Yeah, you know what I mean? And and this is what um, CK, CK. I'm going to be doing this in Philly. Like, you know, we're going to get the entrepreneurs and uh, the people that are moving uh, their life in, in Philadelphia. I really want to focus on Philadelphia. There's been a lot of times I focus outside of Philadelphia. I've been here for five years now. I think I could get my card that says I'm, I'm a Philadelphian. Now nah, I ain't getting that. I don't want it, yo. I don't want the car that says I'm a Philadelphia. <laughs> but Philly, Ooh. Philly, we're coming out here. We're going to do it for you. She's yeah. a part of the Philly family. She can't get out of it. She can't I can't, get away I can't, I can't. She's a part of the family. I know, I know. So, hey, you guys be blessed, be amazing, keep, keep doing your thing. Not because he got dreads that I'm playing Bernie Spears. <laughs> ah! Eternal love, brethren. Eternal love. <laughs> Peace. Be good. Yeah, love man, thank you, it. thank you. I appreciate it. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a rock. Keep I'm a rock. That, that, that could be like a little whatever, man. Yeah, you yeah.